In this tutorial, we are going to see how to set background image using CSS, which is very easy. And at the end, I will show you how you can apply the best gradient colors in the background without writing any code. So let's don't waste time and get started. So in CSS, we have one property called background image, which help us to set a variety of image types like PNG, SVG, JPG, GIF, WebP, etc. And we can also set gradient colors in the background by using this same property. So first, let's see how to apply image in the background. Here, I create one div with a class background image. You can take whatever you want to. And inside this, I have one h2 tag for the title and one h1 tag for website URL. And I link this style.css file with our HTML file and give it some basic styles for text and padding. Now let's open this HTML file with live server so we don't need to refresh this file again and again which will boost our productivity. See, we get big text at the center of this div with a little bit of text shadow and I give this gold border to just show the div background area. Now here, I want to add a desk image to this div background. So I download one image file from pixels and copy that image into this images folder. So back to style.css and in background image class, I write background image colon URL. And inside this URL function, we will pass our image path in single or double quotes. Here I have image in current folder so I can write directly images. See, VS Code help us for writing path. And I select this dex.jpg. Now save the changes and take a look. See, we get the image background. Simple as that. Now let's fix this image size and repeating issue. So for solving this issue, we have to add two to three property. One for image position, another for image size, and the last one for repeating. So for image position, we add background position, colon. Here you can select whatever you want to. I want to place this image at the center, so I select center. Now for image size, we add background size, cover. So it's cover full height and width without losing aspect ratio. And the last one for repeat, we add background repeat, no repeat. You can play with other values of this property and see what it does. There is no hard and fast rule. Just your website needs to look good. Simple as that. So save the changes and take a look. See, we set our image at div's background. Now, if you watch my previous tutorials, you know that I like clean code. So I like to use this shorthand property background. And here, first we write position, which is center. Now we have to use forward slash and write size, which is cover, space, no repeat, space, URL, images, slash, desk.jpg, and semicolon. Now I comment out these four lines and see, it works the same as before. If you think it's confusing, then you can write separate properties. It's totally up to you. Now if you haven't any images on your local machine, then you can also use web images. So here, I have one more image URL which I am going to copy and paste between these double quotes. And it works the same as before. Now let me show you my trick to use gradient colors as background. So I give you my three favorite website links for gradient colors in which you directly get CSS code. Let me show you how to use it. For example, this baseline.is have 42 cool gradient colors and we can edit its angle by this slider. And after that, click on this copy CSS button. All websites have this button. So just copy CSS code and paste it into your style.css file. Now remove this unusual code, save the changes and take a look. See, we get our gradient color without writing any code. Just copy and paste. And if you want to make your gradient, just change these two colors, degree and gradient type. It's very simple. So I hope you learned background image and gradient colors. If you want more CSS tutorials or any other tutorials, 
then comment it below. Till then, goodbye and have a lovely day.